Hi, welcome to Captain Georgia. This is a series for basic navigation. We'll be discussing latitude, longitude, how to find your latitude, how to find your longitude, how to utilize and measure latitude, and how to find your position on a nautical chart using latitude and longitude. Each lesson is approximately three minutes in length. Let's get started. Part two is finding your latitude in the Northern Hemisphere. The Earth rotates 360 degrees in 24 hours, so that lets us, from our perspective, see the stars move around us. So it's very difficult to use stars to determine where we are, and since we can't determine our position from the equator, we need another source to get that angle. So directly above our heads at the North Pole is the North Celestial Pole Star. If you look up into the sky at night, it's part of the Little Dipper and it's the end of the handle and that's the North Celestial Polar Star. So when we look straight up from the North Pole, we see the North Star and it appears stationary even though the rest of the sky appears to be rotating. Back on Earth, we can look up at the North Star, our polar star, draw an imaginary line or visualize an imaginary line. Then we can look out at the horizon again visualizing an imaginary line, and that angle between those two lines is 90 degrees, just like we did with the equator. So our position on the Earth is 90 degrees north latitude. Remember, latitude goes from zero at the equator to 90 at the North Pole. Oh, I should make a note here that the North Star is actually 323 light years away, so obviously our scales here are a bit off, so these angles aren't going to be precise, but they're going to work for demonstration purposes. When you do this yourself and you go out there and figure it out, the angles will be correct. So again, our polar star is directly north of us. We're standing at the North Pole. We look out at the horizon and we get a 90 degree angle. Therefore, we are at 90 degrees north latitude. Latitude is always from zero to 90. So as we move south toward the equator, we have a new horizon line and a new angle to the North Star. So there's our horizon line straight out again, but this time our angle, because we've worked our way south, is 59 degrees. That means we're at 59 degrees north latitude. As we continue to move south, our horizon always appears to be the same to us, but the angle to the North Star varies. We have a horizon line and we have the North Star and our angle is 10 degrees. So therefore we are at 10 degrees north latitude. And finally, when we get to the equator, in our diagram here, because we have to have a great big Earth so you can see in a little tiny North Star, the North Star is on the horizon, so therefore it's zero degrees, and the equator is zero degrees latitude. So if we sneak the Earth down a little bit and take a better look at it, you get a better idea of reality, what it would look like. But again, zero degrees latitude, because the North Star is at zero degrees from our horizon. So this is how we find our position going from north to south, so we can figure out where we are on the globe, finding your latitude in the northern hemisphere. 